The other thing that we see here listed on this graph is the R squared. Let's talk for a moment about what R squared represents. R squared is a measure of how tightly points fit around the best fit line. Here we see some best fit lines through sets of points. All of these sets of points actually have the same best fit line, y equals 6x plus 55. But the cloud of points look quite different around each one of them. And that is because in the graph to the left, there's a very loose or poor fit of the points around the line. Whereas on the right, this is a very tight fit of the points around the line. The R squares for these three lines are in order 0 0.16, 0 0.56, and 0.94. These numbers, on the one hand, represent a sort of scale from 0 to 1, telling us how well the data fit the model. They also can be thought of as telling us the fraction of the variance that's explained by the model. So in the case of an R squared of 0.16, the model that we've created doesn't really tell us very much about why one point varies from the other. Whereas with an R squared of 0.94, 94% of the amount of variation among the points on this graph could be considered to be due to the effect of this line here. So our predictive ability in other words, how useful this line is for us to predict values of y if we know a value of x depends on the r square value. If we have an r square of 0.94, then we can substitute in a value for x and we can be fairly confident that any given value of y that fits this data set is going to be close to our predicted value. Whereas if the r square is very low, we can see here that there are actually many values of y that uh, over a fairly large range of y that could be possible for a particular value of x. So when the r square is low, we can derive the best fit line and create a, mod a linear model, but that model doesn't really help us very much in terms of prediction. If we look more closely at the summary of the data from fitting the model, we see that there are actually two values for R squared, the one called multiple R squared and another one called adjusted R squared. Which of these R squares should we use? For a simple linear regression, often the numbers are rather similar. So generally for a single factor, a single X in a regression, the multiple R squared and the adjusted R squared are about the same and so it doesn't matter a lot which one we report. There may be different conventions depending on your particular field as to which is preferred. If you don't know which one to report, I would just recommend reporting the adjusted R-square as the adjusted R-square, and that probably will be fine.